Hey, good Wednesday morning. As you can tell, we're someplace different this morning. We're in a different part of the church. This is the foyer of the church, and I realize that I've been doing all these from my office, and some of you have never been to Prairie Trail Cowboy Church, and you've never seen anything. As the views that we get start to climb, and I start to realize that people have never been here, we're going to show you around a little bit. So I'm going to shoot uh, these um, Bible verses of the day from different spots around the church so that you can see what we see on any given day that we're here. So again, we want to thank you for watching, sharing these videos, um, liking us on Facebook, and subscribing to us on YouTube, and sharing these things because that's what's getting the word out. Remember, we're the wholesaler, you're the retailer. You guys get this out to the people that you love so that they can be encouraged every day by God's word. So without further ado, let's just jump right in. And we're in Titus, and we're in chapter 2, uh, verse 11. And and this is a great word for us on a Wednesday. So let's jump in this. It says, For the grace of God has appeared, bringing salvation for all people. That's 11. It says that God's grace, by His grace, He sent His Son Jesus to this earth for salvation for all people. It says, for all people. Not some people, not select people, not because you sin differently than me, but for all people, no matter what your sin is. I've got an encouraging thing for you today if you don't know Jesus. He loves you. And by God's grace, He wants to save you through His Son, Jesus, no matter what you've done. There's nothing you've done. Some of you are like me. When I would tell people that you don't know me, you don't know what I've done, what I've learned, it doesn't matter what you've done. There's salvation for all people. And that's an amazing thing for us all to hear. But then it goes on for believers, and this is for you. It says, training us to renounce ungodliness and worldly passions. So God wants to give us this grace, this salvation, not so that we can keep on sinning, not so that we can keep on doing wrong, but so that we can go from this ungodly state that we came from, of this sin nature, to a holier place. Not that we'll ever be perfect or that we'll ever stop sinning, but that maybe, maybe, just maybe, that we will turn from our ways. God wants you to change. And then he says to renounce what? Ungodliness, those sins that we want to walk away from, and worldly passions. That the things of the world shouldn't drag us in, shouldn't consume us, shouldn't get in our way, shouldn't keep us from gathering with God's people, shouldn't keep us from being a part of uh, the work and the mission that God has for us all. Sometimes we let those worldly passions pull us away. Sometimes we let our hobbies and our our, our work get in the way of the mission that God has us all on. We have to never, never forget that God wants us to get rid of those things. Not that they're not, some of them aren't necessary evils. Work is a necessary evil, but don't let it consume you to a point to where you can't, can't be a part of God's work in this world. And then it goes on to say, to live self-controlled, upright, and godly lives. Self-controlled. That means in this age of you're voting for who, I don't care who you're voting for. If you don't vote for who I vote for, I don't like you and you don't like me and I'm going to get caught up in this drama of the world and, and everything that's going on. Paul is saying that we are to live self-controlled lives. Upright and godly. Upright and godly. In this age, Paul wrote this some 2,000 years ago. And guess what? It's still relevant today that we live these godly lives. Uphold what God has for us to not get sucked in by the world. And remember what it said up in 7 and 8 where it says, Show yourself in all respect to be a model of good works. And in all your teaching, show integrity and dignity. That we're supposed to have integrity and dignity, living godly lives, not getting sucked into the world. What an amazing word for us today. Here's what I want you to do. To get a little coffee in you this morning, get a little caffeine, get up, shake the day, get ready, and go out there and show the world what it's like to have that grace from God to be saved so that they see something that they want to be like. Be that model for them, amen? Go out and get it. I love you. Let's pray and let's get into this. Father God, we love you. God, thank you for all of this. God, thank you for your son, Jesus. I thank you for your word from Paul today to remind us that by God's grace, he came to send his son Jesus to save the world. 
all people, not just us, but all people, that we don't look at people differently. We heard that Sunday, God, that, that we should love all people just like Jesus did. Show them the path to salvation through our actions, to live that uh, integrity and dignity and, and to live godly and holy lives, to live upright as you've called us to. So God, help us to do that today as we're in the middle of this week and we struggle with things and, and God, we, we need your word today. So help us with that. Father, thank you for your son, Jesus. We love you. We ask all this in Jesus' name. Amen. Hey, man, I'll see you Friday.